Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hi folks, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're gonna make some ATCs. Those who know I run an ATC club in my studio. If you are interested and if you are in the area, just check out my website www.beagrob.com. You can find the information there. So, uh, these uh, ATCs are made from magazines. The Tim Holtz tissue paper, I use the Tim Holtz tissue paper. You can use, of course, other tissue paper, even if you don't have any store-bought tissue, tissue paper just stamp your own tissue paper with stamps with uh, mainly text or or music sheet or something like that i think that gives an interesting background i usually do my atcs which are 2.5 by 3.5 2.5 by 3.5 inches uh, on a black cardboard piece so that means that actual image is like a quarter inch smaller so but that's up to you you can use the whole size if you like we also gonna need a black marker because i do add that's not black marker but you know what i mean a black permanent marker to add those details so i'm gonna start with that mixed media paper i have i'm gonna cover the whole mixed media paper with the, the tissue paper. I'm gonna make me a little bit room and then I will be back. I'm gonna add some tissue paper and I'm gonna use Mod Podge just because I can. step is to cut it to two and a quarter. I have to cut back the, the tissue paper first here. Okay, two and a quarter. Obviously, I can't use the part with the holes. And then three and a quarter. So when I put it on here, I have a black border, which I like. So those are ready. Now the next step is looking for images. And they have to be right in the size. And at the same time, I'm also looking for watches.
So I have my pieces together. I have ladies. I have watches. I also have wording like uh, from the magazines is an option or like maybe you have rubbons you can use or you print your own on some ordinary computer paper. Now it's time to assemble them or at least put them together so that we know what kind of color we're gonna use for the backgrounds. And I have this lady here, so I certainly gonna go into the blues and I'm not sure. I think I go for the bigger watch and sometimes I cut them out completely, sometimes I leave like little bit from the background depending a little bit on the size and that's a rather small one so I'm gonna tear it because I like teared edges better than um, cut edges but you certainly could also have cut edges it's just a question of preference so that means this goes something like that that and um, the watches are usually cut out and I usually just use my finger to move them around I forgot to mention I also gonna use a little bit of washi tape just to have a more interesting background. Now washi tape isn't meant to be permanent so I'm going to use a little bit of Mod Podge right over the top. Oh, my save. Mm, I think it's going to be awesome. Or what do we have here? I have to wait. That if I want to do a rub on, I have to wait until it is dry. Let's see. And I'm gonna use this sentence pretty as a picture.
I'm uh, gonna use live every day. No, I don't like that. What do we have on this one? Hello friend. What about hello friend? Or remember again? I have remember your story. Okay, hello friend. Now I want to stand it out a little bit so I'm gonna use a little bit of some background thingy. Maybe some blue here. Now I'm gonna use glue instead of uh, Mod Podge just to speed it up a bit. <laughs> Okay, put that aside a little bit to dry and to glue it to the black background I use tacky glue or any good quality glue would work. So here the watch is slightly, just so slightly uh, overhanging, but it's not a problem because um, the black, which is the real 2.5 by 3.5, by um, there's still, it's still in the ATC. I try to avoid having ATC with a lot of stuff going over the edge. Sometimes, yeah, the design asks for it, but if I can avoid it, I'll do it. There's some washi tape which I need to cut back here. under a heavy book is always helpful. Now I use a pit pen, you could use a sharpie, it's just some black permanent marker and do a little bit of doodling. So here we are with six, somewhat similar, but anyway different ATCs. They were quick and fun to make and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!